Welcome to the 3 a.m. lowdown. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the strange, bizarre, spooky, naughty news episode 4 from 3am lowdown. The management directed me to say that. Yeah. Alright, hello cowboys and cowgirls. Hope all is well. God Almighty loves you. I do too. If you're an atheist, well, I don't know what to tell you. And if you're a Mormon, don't watch this video. Okay, let's go. All right, first story is from The Sun. Oh, today is 6-7-2022. Okay, yesterday was, uh, what was it? 6-6-2022, six, six, three sixes? Six, the month, six, the date. 2022 added up is six. Wonderful day. Nothing really happened, so... I don't know. Screwball world. Things go on behind the scenes. All right. First story is from the sun. And it's... Come again? What men and women really say after sex. And you'll never guess what the ladies demand first. What do the ladies demand first? Men and women often say, I got to go. <laughs> Straight after sex is survey found. Blokes, this is English, are also warned, don't fall asleep. While the classic line, did the earth move for you, is no more. I don't think I ever used this, did the earth move. All right, lovers say, this is women. You're amazing to the dude. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Give me a cuddle. Yes, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love being with you. Where's my phone? Those are the top five for women right now. Wow. This is what men say. Wow. <laughs> when can we do that again? I've got to go. I needed that. And did you have an orgasm? Confirmation. Yes. Ask what they say straight after a romp. A simple wow was tops for men. With you're amazing, the most common phrase for women. I don't know about that. Next for fellows was a respectful, when can we do it again? That was followed by less romantic. I've got to hit the road, I've got to go. Which also appeared as seven plates on the woman's list. For the ladies, the warning about falling asleep came second. Give me a cuddle. Where's my phone at appeared in the top ten for both sexes? This is today's world. According to the poll of 2,000 adults by the web dating site IllicitEncounters.com Jessica Leone, sex and relational expert. She's an expert with illicit encounters said what we say straight after sex is so much about the state of our relationship of the relationship most couples in long-term relationships say very little <laughs> you have to roll over in the bed and go to sleep because they are often going through the motions of sex in the same way every time well you gotta experiment what is more revealing is what is said in new relationships when you are still really into each other and the sex is exciting. You can tell when a person's interest is waning by the remuted response at the end of sex. That's it for the article, man. All right, we're going to get to more. Next one's coming right up. This is the next story. I told you so. It's from the sun as well. I'm going to put links to all this stuff below so you can read them, see them if you don't believe me. All right. It's about a Jewish couple. Got caught in a synagogue. 
on Zoom camera. Vava Zoom. Couple accidentally live streamed themselves having sex on Zoom for 45 minutes to synagogue after leaving the video on. A couple accidentally live streamed themselves having sex for 45 minutes. Later. The middle aged couple, that must have been nice to see. Middle aged couple were caught fondling and pleasuring each other after unwittingly leaving the video on during an online bat mitzvah. I thought it was bar mitzvah. Bat mitzvah. All right, let's scroll through some of the pictures. You can go to the link and see them. The Hansi Duo joined a live Zoom live stream to attend a virtual temple Beth El service in Minneapolis on May 14th. Before things, things got steamy in their bedroom. Horrified onlookers tried desperately to contact the frisky pair to stop the sex on the screens. But the session <laughs> lasted 45 minutes, man. The couple had forgotten to join the virtual ceremony with only their audio. So they assumed the canoodling <laughs> was in peace. But when uh, they saw a private chat begging them to stop, they were petrified. I don't know, it's losing erection quickly. One attendee on the Zoom said, it went on for 45 minutes, we know that. She walked around naked. She got dressed. She's in and out of Zoom. He was in the bed. He whipped it out. She started going to work. Someone on the Zoom saw and called her and was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're on camera. She freaked out. The witness added it was Zoom for a bar mitzvah, bar mitzvah. Most people not on the camera except... Most people were not on camera except the old bub bubs who don't know how to turn off the camera. And those, these two people. So the boxes were pretty big and everyone could see what was going on on camera. The synagogue was not identified. Well, it's in Minneapolis. The <laughs> not identified the raunchy pad which is to keep it from spreading. Matt Walzer, managing director of Temple Bath L, told the Post, I'm aware of the incidents and won't be commenting on the naughty details. But those laughing at the event have labeled it pulling a tubin. Thank you, Tabitha. The expression refers to the unfortunate accidents of leaving a web or phone camera on while engaging in sexual activity on Zoom. Urban Dictionary coined the term after CNN, uh, CNN analyst Jeffrey Tubin was caught masturbating on a live video with staff of The New Yorker in 2020. Yeah, Tabitha. Oh, that's the end of the article, baby. We wrapped it up, huh? You want to come on my lap? No? Too busy? All right, next story. We got two more stories. Two more, two more. Promise. I forgot to turn on the dang camera. All right, I'm turning on. I can't go back and read the other stories because I read them on the fly. I'd be cheating. I don't want to read them again, but here we go. i put myself on the camera and scare the hell out of everyone. All right, howdy. Good boys, good girl. All right, next story. It's from the sun. What type... Oh, excuse me. This is a story about penises and penis shapes and sizes. I didn't, you know, looking at this picture here, uh, pencil? Papa? All right, let's, let's go. get on with it. Measuring up, what are the eight types of penis? From the bottom mushroom, button mushroom, excuse me, to the pencil, and hammer shapes. I'm intrigued. Let's continue. Penis comes in all different shapes and sizes. No two are the same. Well, I like to think mine is special and different from everyone else's. But according to Darren Breen, managing director of iMedicare Limited, a British retailer supplying accessories for erectile dysfunction. Even Tadger falls under the eight categories. From a hammer to a pepper or button mushroom. 
We spoke to Mail Online and shared the main penis shapes she's come across in 22 years of working in the industry. Uh, the pencil-shaped penis is often extremely long and thinner than the average. Pencil, we know what a pencil looks like. Darren notes that men who have pencil-shaped penises tend to have long and thin uniform girth with narrow glands and around her head of the penis. The expert who went to the industry in 1996 goes on to say that while the length can differ from person to person, it is often extremely long and thinner than the average. Now we have the pepper. This one looks like a very interesting one. It's a red pepper. All right, wonderful. Men with the pepper have an unusually short three to four inches, but exceptionally thick penis. If you don't recognize your down below is a pencil, then perhaps you're a pepper. Darren knows that men with this penis shape will find the, their manhood is usually three to four inches, but extremely thick along the entire length. Now we have the cone. <laughs> oh boy. The cone typically features a linear narrowing to the shaft to a pencil tip. Oh boy. For anyone whose penis falls in this category, be warned. You'll never look at an ice cream cone same way again now there's a joke here with fellatio i'm not going to say anything according to darren men who identify with this penis shape may encounter some problems along the way he points out that the cone typically features a linear narrowing of the shaft to the pencil tip this can occasionally be associated with phimosis whatever that is phimosis a condition where the foreskin is too tight and won't pull back which can prevent the penis head from expanding. Next, the banana. <laughs> the banana shape curves to the left or right. All right, is your, is your penis curved to the left or right? If chances are your penis is classified as a banana shape, Darren notes that you could have been born with a penis curve or developed the shape as a result of an injury. He goes on to reference to Pironis disease, Pironis disease, you're going to have to read the article. A connective tissue disorder of the penis that sees scar tissue developing after an issue, which can lead to lateral deformity or an hourglass shape. This condition will reportedly impact 7% of their men in their lifetime. <clears throat> now, here's the main one, the, the hammer. They should call it Thor's hammer. <laughs> those with a hammer feature of a narrow base widening to a very large glands that that can't be right that's a penis head again glands it may be a handy tool when you're around the house for the next do-it-yourself project but darren says the hammer is also the name of a possible penis shape he points out that anyone with this shape will will have a slimmer shaft that leads to a much wider head. The narrow base widening to the very wide glands, here we go again, gravity makes it more difficult for this type of penis to lift skyward on an erection, he says. <laughs> Next we have the sausage. I guess that's the general shape of most. Darren explains that the sausage-shaped penis is the most popular of all. Hey, I was right. Detailing the typical characteristics of this particular shape of manhood, he says the penis is of average thickness and length and has a uniform girth along the length and is fairly typical. The cucumber. And this must be wider in girth, I guess, than the sausage. If your penis shape hasn't fallen into one of the categories mentioned, then you may be a cucumber. This penis type is thicker than the average penis, I said that already, around 5 to 8 inches, and tends to be good length to the button mushroom. We're going to end on this one here. And last but not least is the button-shaped penis. Button mushroom-shaped penis. Scientists claim that this particular shape, scientists, particular shape is an evolutionary design that stems back to the idea of infidelity. 
team of scientists in New York ran a series of experiments to try and discover why the human penis looks the way it does. It was found that thrusting, as well as a ridge separating the shafts from the head, could clear a vagina and the reproductive system of previous sexual semen. Yeah, they lined up. This would allow the new mate to add his own sperm and have a ch stronger chance of reproduction. See, everything works out. All right. I guess you're putting your penis in a category. Ladies are going through the head of the guys they've seen this way. Next story. All right, fourth. Final story. This is about the vagina. <laughs> it's from the sun also. Doctor's orders. I'm a doctor. Here's why vibrators should be prescribed free of charge to all women. You know, this was a thing in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It was a thing prescribed, well, diagnosed as female hysteria. And that's where the vibrator came into play. All right, using a vibrator is <clears throat> a pleasurable experience. But now researchers say they can also help women with a maraud of health issues. Hmm. Experts in the U.S. have revealed the benefits could even warrant the devices being prescribed to women free of charge. Yeah, probably from Pfizer. The medic said that using a vibrator during masturbation can help a woman reach orgasm quickly. <laughs> On top of this, it also help them climax multiple times, lady. Yes. Writing in the Journey of Urology, Dr. Alexandra Dubinskaya, whatever, and her team found evidence to support a host of benefits in women who regularly used a vibrator. Experts looked at 21 papers that had analyzed the use of sex toys for medical benefits. They noted that women who used one improved pelvic floor health, reduced vulva pain, and also saw an improvement in overall sexual health. Guaranteed it made them happier most of the time as well. Uh, team of researchers has said some women also saw improvements in incontinence. That's the bladder and stuff. However, it's not clear how long you would have to use the device for before it resulted in improvement in health. Well, I guess they're the nymphomaniacs to be using it 10 times a day. Prior research had established that women who experience regular orgasms with stress reduction had better sexual health. In conclusion, they said that vibrators should not just be used or seen as devices for pleasure, but as a therapeutic gadget. Neck massager and stuff. Yeah. They said female health specialists and the doctors alike could benefit from prescribing vibrators to female patients. Considering the potential pelvic health benefits of vibrators, their recommendation to women should include included in pelvic floor disorder treatment. Pelvic floor disorder treatment. Experts previously said they were trying to educate the NHS on why sex toys could be beneficial to women in more ways than one. Dr. Goldmeyer, David, consultant and lead clinician in sexual function <laughs> told the guardian that many toys can simulate areas that other things cannot although i imagine there are women who are not dysfunctional and need and who just like sex toys for those with a 
genuine problem, such items are enormously important, he said. Experts in the U.S. previously said there are some medical conditions that result in the decreased blood flow to the clitoris, which means nerve endings didn't respond well. They said this could be fixed by the use of a vibrator for sex. All right, final story for this evening. Blessings to you all. Peace and love to you and family. Peace, love, rock and roll, everyone. Take care. We're coming back with more. I've been negligent and basically tired, just mentally. All right, bye for now. Like, share, and subscribe, please. It helps out a lot. Thank you.